When thinking of eating sunflowers, you may think of enjoying a bag of flavored sunflower seeds. But did you know that it makes good silage for livestock? Mike Dandria spoke with a cattle expert as well as a local sunflower producer and shares the benefits of this unique feed as we lead local. Even with a slight improvement in the drought across the state, much of North Dakota still sits in the extreme drought category. Sunflowers are a very drought resistant crop with their long tap roots, making it very useful for silage in a year as dry as this. The window to seed them is pretty wide, uh, and so you've got some time, you could have seeded them earlier. With the lack of moisture affecting this year's harvest, livestock producers across the state have been struggling to find alternative feeding methods. As the search continues, some have found success in making silage out of sunflowers. Inherently, sunflowers are going to carry more nitrogen, and that's simply what crude protein is. Uh, and when we talk about crude protein, it's a simply um, accounting of all the nitrogen compounds within that plant. Speaking of protein, sunflower silage contains more protein than corn silage. Corn silage contains about 8% crude protein compared to nearly 12% in sunflowers. Four points doesn't sound huge, but depending on the animal you're feeding that to, the time of year or the physiological state of that animal, as cows have a higher requirement for both protein and energy when they are lactating because they're producing that milk. Some ranchers have weaned their calves early on this summer due to the drought, but this high protein alternative may give livestock producers options. It is worth noting that oil content in sunflower silage is much higher than that of corn, which is generally around 2%. It's going to be bringing in most likely somewhere between 7 and 10% of the total composition of the sunflower silage will be oil. As with anything, there are drawbacks. They show a lot of promise uh, up here again. Uh, the birds are a concern. Blackbirds have been eating away at some of the sunflower crop, picking away potential key nutrients that could be used to feed livestock. While it's not a perfect solution, this uncommon practice gives producers options for the coming years. Reporting in Minokin for KX News, I'm Mike Dandria. Carlson also says that producers should be aware of any pesticides they may have used on their fields if they intend to use their crops for feed. More than 25